to start off with the base, you have to put down triangles like that, so six triangles, and then a triangle on each end like that. Upgrade everything to stone, obviously, or you can upgrade it to wood. This space is completely modular. You can work at your own pace on this base. To start, you're gonna have your basic airlock, obviously. Upgrade the stone or wood. And you can just enclose off this whole spot. So you can use this for like day one of life. The base is completely modular. You can work at your own pace. Half wall and stairs. Well, that's gonna be like the elevator. Either remove that half wall for more storage, or you can keep it. Um, I'm gonna keep it for the sake of the video. And now that's just part one. For TC, I actually made a mistake. You're gonna want to break that floor and the wall. You're gonna enclose it there and then have a window so that you can actually see into your TC and access it. Now you can close off the roof, but don't close off the elevator, or you can just make it to wood so you can break it later. You're also going to want to upgrade that as well. Now for the second floor of the base, you want to have a double door frame, but don't place it like that. Place it so that it's inside. Just like that. I was found this part tricky, but you're gonna want to put two walls over there. Now this is step two of the base. You're just going to want to follow the same pattern, just close off everything. And then leave this to be your elevator for the second floor, for the third floor. You can break the half wall I'm going to, use it for more storage. But... there and just cover up the whole ceiling you can close that off if you want or not it's completely up to you now you're gonna want to put a wall right there this is gonna be for the loot uh, placing the boxes and everything is kind of tricky and the furnaces as well you have to make sure that everything is uh, flat, that you're building this on a flat area. If you're building it where there's like a hill or if you're building it on a hill, it's not going to work and you're not going to get the full base experience. Put half walls where you choose, the amount of doors so obviously the better, it makes the raid more costly. The whole base is around 15k stone I would say to make, uh, but you can look at your own speed obviously. Now this is the shooting floor type thing. Now you can place these half holes in wave one and then put a lower wall. This way you can use that as basically like a peak down to your base. Or well not really a peak down, but it gives you a different perspective or a different field of view. Now you can break those and do the same thing for windows if you choose. It's completely up to you how you build the uh, shooting floor. I just built it to how I like it but you can obviously change some parameters in the base. Upgrade everything to stone. Close up the ceiling. And you can close up that part, because that is the final touch of the base. Now, if you won't choose to, you can have honeycomb. I'm going to add it for the sake of the base. This obviously does give it a little bit more cost to the base, but it's definitely worth it. Now this is for the front door of the base. I made a slight little mistake. I forgot to uh, put a triangle right there, right by the uh, right by the front door, just around it. The 
see i forgot to put it right there there should be you should put as much triangles as you can there but i forgot to that's just gonna allow you to uh have full vision around the base you can have your airlock uh, i like to have as much shop, metal shop fronts as i can because i love to see all around my base i want to see everywhere around it as far as possible the one that really can't pierce worst possible thing anyone can ever do that a door can pass. now we'll finish up the honeycomb rotate upgrade the stone And this is what the base will look like when you are complete. The base is going to look very well furbished. Everything should be intact. All the boxes will be placed down. Don't forget to subscribe and like if you enjoyed watching the video.